On this edition of Primetime Yachts, we'll take a look at the smartest and the most fuel efficient boat of its size, the MJM 36Z. We'll also check out our brokerage yacht of the month. All this and more on Primetime Yachts. Welcome to the Primetime Yachts Channel, I'm Kristen Bob. I'm sitting on this beautiful Sportfish Vertigo coming to you from Bellport Lido Yacht Anchorage on beautiful Newport Harbor in Newport Beach, California. This TV show highlights power boats that are good looking, seaworthy, fast and functional cruising yachts. Everything from the classic Maine lobster yacht to the sleek and modern picnic style boats and motor yachts are featured on the Primetime Yachts Channel. We'll bring you the new and used boats that are stirring up all the interest at the prestigious boat shows, both east and west. Our first feature is about the MJM 36C, which you may have seen in an earlier Primetime Yachts TV episode. What you're about to experience this time is an in-depth review, which includes getting out on the water on this fast, dry, and fun to drive boat that is responsive and predictable in waves and economical to run. Fully opening windshields and side curtains give you that invigorating wind in your face feel on nice days. Yet in the worst of weather, you shut the windows, roll down the side curtains, and turn on the heat. Own the smartest boat of its size, two miles per gallon when cruising and four gallons per hour for average use. 36C is a unique design. Small enough to handle alone, yet big enough to entertain 10 on harbor cruises, dinner outings, or watching the afternoon boat races. Now let's see what the experts think about the 36C. Here's the full BoatTest.com review. Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I'm on the MJM 36Z. The team at MJM tell me that they've designed the 36Z as a cruiser that can be easily managed by a cruising couple while being able to handle the distances that adventurous cruising demands. Let's see how they've done as I take around a full test and performance review. We'll start by going over the daily engine room check. Releasing the two deck latches allows the engine room hatch to self-lift, exposing the main engines. The installation is clean, roomy, and well ventilated. All components are easily identifiable. Wire runs are orderly and well supported at regular intervals. The fuel filters are mounted ahead of the engine within easy reach, and there's plenty of room to stand all around the engines for maintenance. The entire compartment is surrounded with noise reducing material which is why I measured only 83 decibels at the helm at full throttle. At the aft bulkhead you can see the hot and cold water lines for the transom shower right next to the electronic steering control unit for the Ocean X outdrives. And I'm happy to see a fixed firefighting system. There are steps to either side of the cockpit that lead to the side decks which are a little narrow but safe thanks to the amount and length of grab handles. There are a lot of thoughtful features at the bow. All decking is covered with non-skid. The 1 and 3 quarter inch rails are thick and come up to 26 inches which exceeds ABYC standards. The bow chocks are designed so that they can accommodate hooking on a mooring line so you don't have to drag what is typically a grungy line across your deck. The anchor is secured to a stainless steel anchor roller. 12 inch cleats are provided to secure your lines. As we move inside, the ship's main electrical panel is conveniently located just to the starboard side of the companionway leading down below. The helm is about as comfortable as I've ever experienced and offers outstanding sight lines, particularly out the sides thanks to the wide windows of this Down East Design Cruiser. There's a convenient footrest that, along with the grab handle just to the side, make for an easy entry into the Stid helm seat. The large destroyer wheel spins effortlessly, which makes for fingertip operations that I like. A large Ritchie compass is right in line with the helm. Just below is a 14-inch multifunction display. To the right is a digital depth gauge, autopilot, and the Volvo Penta EVC display. The digital engine controls are just ahead of the wheel within easy reach and in close proximity to the trim tab rockers. Over to the port hand side is the stern drive joystick. Just ahead is the bow thruster control and control for the remote spotlight and rocker switches that include a switch for a freshwater anchor washdown. At the lower panel are bilge pump controls and generator controls down at the bottom. Now let's get underway and see how this 36Z performs. With a pair of 220 horsepower Volvo Penta D3 diesel engines turning Ocean X outdrives, our test boat reached a top speed at 4,000 RPM of 34.1 knots. At that speed, fuel burn was measured to be 24 gallons per hour for a range of 256 nautical miles. Nailing down the best cruise speed is a little more difficult as the range decreases fairly linearly as you add power, but with that said, I found the MJM 36Z to be most comfortable at around 3,000 RPM. 
At that speed, we were running at 23.6 knots while burning only 12 gallons per hour for an impressive range of 354 nautical miles. We reached planing speed in 5.7 seconds and accelerated through 30 miles an hour in 11.9 seconds. When cruising, the 36Z presents a roughly 5 degree bow high attitude and visibility is outstanding. The side windows are nice and low so you have unrestricted sight lines and through the windshield, the trunk cabin curves down slightly giving you better visibility through the bow rails. At the dock, since you have joystick functionality, the 36Z is quite easy to dock, even single-handed as you can see here. These shots were taken with a 15-knot crosswind doing its best to blow us off the dock. In my opinion, the 36Z is a joy to be on and operating in. There are so many safety features built into this design, and along with its solid construction, this may very well be the last cruising boat you buy, unless you decide to move up to the 40Z. And with that, that's our full test and performance review of the MJM 36Z. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. Thanks, Captain Steve. Now I can see why the 36Z is the yacht that puts the fun back into yachting. When we come back, we'll feature this month's featured brokerage yacht. More Primetime Yachts TV right after this. Why list your yacht with Primetime Yachts? Well, Primetime Yachts' effort to sell your yacht is by far the most comprehensive of all yacht brokerage companies. We certainly go above and beyond any other brokerage company in order to sell your yacht. Here's what you'll get when you list with Primetime Yachts. A free, professional quality, high definition video that tells the story of your vessel. All videos are produced by an Emmy Award winning television director. This is a $5,000 plus value. All videos are promoted within many websites and can be featured in the new TV series, Primetime Yachts TV. Plus, premium listings are displayed at the Primetime Yachts display docks at many Southern California boat shows at our cost. Contact us today to experience the unparalleled sales and marketing strategies at Primetime Yachts. Welcome back. Well, since we're in the beautiful Southern California boating community, let's check out what's on the brokerage market with this edition's featured brokerage yacht. This Tierra 3100 is one of Tierra Yacht's most successful and popular models since its introduction in 1979 and is still offered new today by this quality, American-made yacht builder. Rock and Row is a 1997 open model that is innovative, stylish, and powerful. She has the preferred twin Crusader 454 engines. The fore deck features plenty of room for sun pads, and has three opening hatches, which give plenty of ventilation to the cabin below. One of the key features that has made this model so popular is its dual function use as a fishing platform or family cruiser. You can use this large cockpit for fishing. Notice the live bait well mounted on the transom swim step. After fishing with family and friends, this dual purpose boat turns into a great gathering area. With the new highest grade custom Corinthian carpet in place, and with the transom seat in its down position, paired with two hefty deck chairs, the cockpit is now suited for elegant entertaining. The new carpet extends to the bridge deck where you find the L-shaped settee to port. All the upholstery, as well as the cockpit combings, are freshly recovered. To starboard is the helm station. One standout feature of this Tierra is this large Simrad 12-inch super bright daylight display, featuring radar, GPS, chart plotter, and fish finder. It can even manage your tunes with touchscreen simplicity. Simrad Electronics has been the choice of commercial fishermen and super yachts since 1946. This NSS-12 is their latest series of dynamic, multi-function displays. 
Also, at the helm, you find the latest Robertson Autopilot and new ICOM VHF radio. State-of-the-art electronics can be an overused phrase, but not the case in this Tierra with the latest and best in Navionics. Moving down below into the cabin, you have the convertible dinette to starboard and the master berth in the forepeak. A custom-mounted 26-inch LED flat-screen TV was just installed. You can view network and local TV shows, DVDs, or downloaded HD movies from your iPad, from the cabin, and from the master berth when this TV is swiveled on the custom-installed mount. Continuum to port is the full and functional galley with a two-burner cooktop stainless steel sink, microwave, and below-the-counter refrigerator freezer. There's plenty of cabinet space above and below the galley countertop. Just aft of the galley is the marine head. Across from the galley on the aft bulkhead is the ship's electrical panel and the all-new Fusion stereo system with iPad docking station. Listen to AM, FM, satellite radio, or your iPod music with this newest and best in marine audio entertainment. This quality Tierra has been constantly updated with new batteries, new LED lighting, new upholstery, new paint on the windshield, new electronics, and new HDTV. The list goes on and on and on. On and on and on. For more information, contact Prime Time Yachts. This video was produced by Prime Time HD. If you would like a professional, high definition video produced for your yacht, call or email. Thanks for watching this edition of Prime Time Yachts. In future editions, we'll bring you other fine power boats with equally graceful lines and quality of workmanship. For the Primetime Yachts Channel, I'm Kristen Bopp.